I'm Megan Hoff from Gathering Light Photography, and today I'm here to bring you part five in shooting a wedding step by step. Today we're going to talk about um, taking those important wedding party photos. First of all, let's go over the challenges. You need to find a great location. You need to focus on posing this group of people, and you need to be very conscious of the timing and how much time you have to take these photos. So first of all, choosing the best location. Again, you know, I've said this before, but if you haven't been to a particular venue before, it's really important to head out there before the wedding day or get there early on the wedding day and really scout out some nice locations for taking these kind of photos. You want to think about where the best light will be. Um, you want the light to be very even. If you have a big group of people, um, you want to be aware of any place the light might be kind of dappled. So some people are in the sun and some people are in the shade. Um, and then you also want to think outside the box for for um, the location. What would be something different and unique and um, really eye-catching for these wedding party photos? So take some time beforehand and choose those. Next, you want to think about posing. Um, you can really prepare yourself by knowing how big the wedding party is and um, think about some different ways to pose people. So maybe you are having them um, walk down a road together or maybe you're in a sort of lounge area and some people are sitting and some people are standing. You want to have an idea of how you're going to pose them. And then you want to be able to give very clear directions. Um, oftentimes, you know, the wedding party is kind of rambunctious or they're joking around, they're having a good time, which is great and totally normal, but you need to get your job done and you need to um, not take all of their time getting these photos done. So you want to give very clear directions and get them in the um, pose and location that you want them to. And then also always be ready for the in-between moments. So maybe you take some nice kind of formal pictures, but be ready for when they start laughing and joking with each other and get um, the funny more candid shots at that moment as well. And finally, you really want to know how much time you have and then work within the time that you have. So oftentimes you're taking these big group um, wedding party photos between the ceremony and the reception and you'll have a very um, set amount of time to take the pictures. You don't want to go over the time and have the the caterers and the people at the venue angry with you for taking more time. So find out how much time it is. Be able to tell the couples how much time you usually need and, um, and then work within the time that you have and be very conscious of um, getting things done in the amount of time that you said you would. So hopefully that helps and you're well on your way to um, beautiful wedding party photos. And as always, for more free tips and training, visit photobiz-secrets.com. And I'm Megan Hoff from Gathering Light Photography, and I will talk to you very soon.